we would often hear this, people telling us to trust in God. We would often hear this, friends of ours telling us to trust in God. Baka kayo rin minsan, uh, naging instrument na kayo ng God to encourage someone else na kung meron siyang pinagdadaanan, meron siyang problema na magtiwala lamang sa Diyos. And we believe this, that it is important for us to trust in the Lord for all things. As believers of Jesus Christ, we trust Him for our jobs. We trust Him for our jobs, for the security of our jobs. Sa panahon na to na uh, uso yung nate terminate, may mga kumpanyang nagsasara, economy, the world economy is really not doing that well. Ang mga Kristiyano, they always trust in the Lord that God will take care of them no matter what, no matter what. Amen. We trust in God even beyond our jobs, even beyond our businesses, even beyond our finances. We trust Him for relationships. We trust Him for the security and the future of our relationships. Na sana meron talagang forever. Na meron talagang forever. Na kung sino man yung boyfriend mo ngayon, e eh magtungo-tungo na nga yan to marriage. O kung kayo'y kinasal na nga, e eh ito'y tumaga that it would last a lifetime. But we all know the truth. We all know this truth na kung di lang dahil sa Panginoon, maraming marriages siguro eh hindi na nag exist That's why we trust Him for relationships. We trust Him for our problems. We trust God for many of our difficulties in life. What does it mean to trust in God is the focus of our message for tonight. What does it mean to trust in God is the focus of our message for tonight. Misa pa po tayo manalangin sa Panginoon and commit to the Lord the study of His Word. Let's all bow our heads once again. Close our eyes and pray to Jesus. Aming Diyos at aming Ama, nagpapasalamat po kami sa gabing ito na minsan pa dinala mo po kami sa ganitong klaseng pananambahan, not only to fellowship with other Christians, but more importantly, to worship you, Lord. And we surrender to you everything that is in our hearts and in our minds, all our thoughts and cares. Kasama na ang mga kanya-kanya namin mga problema sa buhay, na bago pa man kami makinig ng salita ng Diyos, ayun na yung problema, ayun na yung mga pagsubok. Lord, we just rest in your presence tonight. We just want to hear your word. And so use your servant as your mouthpiece, as your messenger, that everything that shall come out of my mouth will be words of encouragement, comfort, guidance, and blessing for your people. We ask your Holy Spirit, Lord, to move powerfully and mightily in our midst. Make this message simple yet personal. It touches the most important parts of our lives. And we resist, rebuke, reject all works of Satan in Jesus' name. And we declare him defeated in our lives. Maging sa oras na to, sa mga kasama naming nakikinig, ito may live or even on video. Lord, let there be victory in the lives of your people today as your people learn to trust in the Lord and rise up. We worship you, we honor you, we give you thanks and praise as we pray all of these things in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, this is our prayer. All God's people say, Amen. Amen. What it means to trust in God. What it means to trust in God. Ito po yung ilang mga bagay na lagi po pumapasok sa ating isipan pag sinasabi nating dapat nagtitiwala sa Lord. Ito yung pinaniniwalaan ng marami sa atin. Bakit kahit meron tayong mga pagsubok, kahit meron tayong mga problema, still we can smile. Still we can have a positive attitude and outlook in life because of these things. Beginning with this one. Because we recognize the sovereignty of God. When a believer trusts in God, he recognizes and he believes in the sovereignty of God. Psalm 135 verses 5 to 6 in the Bible says, For I know that the Lord is great. And our Lord is above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, He does in heaven and in earth, in the seas and in all deep places. Again, I read Psalm chapter 135 verses 5 to 6 says, For I know that the Lord is great. Amen. And our Lord is above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, He does in heaven and in earth, in the seas and and in all deep places. Mula po dito sa mga verses na yan, ini-emphasize po sa atin yung ibig sabihin ng sovereignty of God. Na ang translation din yan, layman's term, God is in control. Amen. Amen. God is in control. Na pwede raw may nangyayari, halimbawa, in the world economy. Even as I speak, many of our uh, 
very intelligent economists throughout the world are trying to contemplate what it means that China's economy is slowing down. Eh, yung ekonomiya pa naman ng China ang driving force ng lahat ng mga industriya throughout the world. May kailangan ng China, marami silang populasyon, may mga gusto silang gawin, kaya countries such as Australia, doon hinahango ang maraming mineral needs nila, tulad halimbawa ng mga copper and so on. Ganon din ang langis uh, here in the Middle East that, uh, uh, that uh, energizes all of their industries uh, and so on and so forth. And some people are getting scared kasi eh di kung yun yung driving force of world economy, di pag hindi nila kailangan ng mga mineral resources, pa paano yung mga nagtatrabaho din sa mga bansang tulad ng Australia, even parts of Africa, parts of South America, di wala nang negosyo. Paano na yung langis na pinapump nitong Middle East na ang bababa na nga ng uh, halaga, tapos uh, yung China na lagi umuorder ng langis, eh hindi pa nangangailangan sa kasalukuyan and probably in the coming months. And for many people who understands what all this means, sa practical level of our lives as employees, as businessmen, you know that uh, the times are really very tough. But the believer is not scared. The believer is not scared because he knows that God is sovereign. He knows that God is in control. Inalaw niya ang mga bagay na nangyayari. Inalaw niya ang mga kaganapan na nagaganap. And above all of it, ang Diyos pa rin ang in full control. Kaya yung naniniwala kay Jesus Christ, syempre, nandoon pa rin yung worry, nandoon pa rin syempre yung, uh, uh, yung pag-aaral ng isang sitwasyon, being realistic about all things. But he always remembers that when he trusts in God, ang Diyos ang bahala sa lahat. So magtatrabaho ka pa rin, magbabayad ka pa rin ng mga utang mo. Minsan yung iba, pinagpipray yata yung katapusan na ng mundo eh. At minsan naiintindihan ko kung bakit. Kasi pagkatapusan ng mundo, di wala nang singilan sa mga utang. But praise the Lord. No matter uh, ano man ang circumstances ng kanya-kanya natin mga kumpanya, ng bansang pinagtatrabahuan natin, ng kanya-kanya natin mga pamilya, or let's say your problem is not about money, your problem is about uh, certain conflicts in the family. Minsan yun yung kahirap-hirap eh. Yung tumatagal na problema ng mga magkakapatid, problema ng mga magulang sa anak, ng mga mag-asawa. Sabi nga nila, yung problema na masusob lang pag nagkapera, ang pinakamadaling problema. Amen. Yan talaga ang pinakamadaling problema kasi magkapera lang, tapos na eh. Ang problema yung pag andami daming pera, pero hindi pa rin masolve yung problema. Yung gumising nila isang umaga ang asawa mo at ang sinabi na niya, hindi na kita mahal. Ang pangit mo pala. <laughs> Hindi masusolve ng pera yun eh. There are just some problems that money cannot solve. There are just such such a dilemma in many people's lives that will not be solved by, by, by finances. But praise be to God. Alam natin, when we trust in the Lord, no matter what we're going through, we recognize the sovereignty of God. God is in control. Can you say that with me together, please? God is in control. And if right now, tonight, and even those listening on this message via video, you recall and you remember the many problems you're facing, ito ba may kinalaman sa pera? Say, God is in control. Ito ba may kinalaman problems in your business? God is in control. Ito may problems in your family. Ito may health problems. God is in control. Control. Can you do this with me? Pwede ba itaas nyo ang inyong dalawang kamay like this with me? At sa pagtaasin nyo na inyong dalawang kamay, isipin nyo dun sa kanan at sa kaliwa lahat ng mga problema nyo sa buhay. Diba? Balansin nyo para hindi naman sobrang mabigatan nyo isa. So some problems you throw to the right, some problems you throw to the left. And together with me say this, but I believe God is in control. Titigan nyo mabuti ang inyong mga kamay. Mukha ba ng asawa mo yung nakikita mo? Yung mukha ba ng mga naniningil sa'yo, nakikita mo. All together, say this aloud with me, but God is in control. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Praise the Lord. And those who trust in God, not only believe that God is in control, but that our God is a powerful God. We believe that our God is a powerful God. Luke chapter 1 verse 37 says, Luke chapter 1 verse 37 says, For nothing will be impossible with God. And I say it again, I read it again, Luke chapter 1 verse 37 says, for nothing will be impossible 
with God. Na kung merong parte ng inyong katawan na maaring may karamdaman, ang ibig sabihin nun, pwede mong ilagay ang iyong kamay. Pwede mong ipanalangin na iba't ibang parte ng iyong katawan at manampalataya ka for nothing will be impossible with God. Again, there are sicknesses na available na ang iba't ibang klaseng mga medisina para doon. Pag masakit ang ulo, pag linalagnat, pag tinatrangkaso, pag may kakaibang kapakiramdam, isa lang naman ang sagot natin dyan, Panadol. Minsan pumunta ka pa sa mamahaling ospital, naghanap ka ng espesyalista. Ayaw mo, yung, yung magaleng, yung matalino. Kasi hindi mo kinaya pagkatapos, panadol din lang ang inabot. <laughs> And yes, there are certain sicknesses that when you have an x-ray, when you have your MRI, and you will get some good doctors operate on you, they take out the bad stuff inside, whatever that may be. Eh kaso paano yung mga karamdaman na kahit nga may pera ka, kahit nga may matalino, may magaling, they would still say, we don't know the solution to this problem. I read an article of a woman, a, a French doctor who retired recently, and she's credited to be one of the scholars who discovered the HIV AIDS virus uh, years, years ago, decades ago. And upon retirement, she was asked after so many years and so much money placed on research concerning Uh, the HIV and AIDS and uh, the many cures that they're hoping to achieve and she would simply say, there's just none. They've gone through the many years and the decades and there's simply no cure to this virus. Kaya nga si Bill Gates himself, he founded this uh, foundation na gusto niya i-funnel yung marami niyang pera doon to help cure certain diseases, inalis na niya, linabas na niya yung mga ganong disease kasi parang sayang lang ang pera. Kaya finocus niya yung foundation niya on certain diseases in Africa na kung saan yung pera niya can make a difference. So you can just imagine a person as rich as Bill Gates having so much money, pay so many uh, intelligent people, have so much resources in their hands, but still, meron pa rin impossible sa tao. Meron pa rin impossible sa tao. At ganun din sa marami nating mga problema sa buhay, meron talaga impossible na masolve sa sarili nating kakayanan. But praise God. Because when we say trust in the Lord, when we say trust in God, it teaches us to trust in Him even for the impossible. It teaches us to trust in Him even for the impossible. For again, I read and we're reminded in Luke chapter 137, for nothing will be impossible with God. For nothing will be impossible with God. Isa pa yan na magandang iuwi natin sa kanya-kanya natin mga tahanan after this worship service. That even if you're faced with many difficulties in life, you're reminded by God's word, but nothing is impossible with my God. Nothing is impossible with God. Amen. And we know this, that God will help us. Pag sinasabi natin sa bawat isa, trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord, ano ibig sabihin niyan? Naniniwala kasi tayo na tutulungan tayo ng Panginoon. Tutulungan tayo ng Panginoon. Hindi siya nagbubulag-bulagan sa ating kalagayan. We know and believe this, that God will help us. Amen. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 13, For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, do not fear, I will help you. Do not fear. I will help you. Isa sa pinakamahirap na kalagayan sa buhay ay yung wala nang gustong tumulong sa'yo. Isa sa pinakamahirap na sitwasyon sa buhay ay yung wala nang gustong tumulong sa'yo. Yung ramdam na ramdam mo, there's no one to turn to. Ako dyan ako habag na habag. Dahil ayoko maramdaman yon sa sarili kong buhay na walang gustong tumulong sa akin. Kaya hindi ko man kaya tulungan ng maraming mga tao, pero kung sino yung dinadala ng Lord sa ating puder, sa ating pintuan, as much as possible, hindi ko kinakayang hindi gawa ng paraan. Kasi alam ko, napakahirap ng feeling na walang tumutulong sa iyo. Napakahirap ng pakiramdam na walang nakikinig sa iyo. Yun lang nakikinig sa iyo, ang hirap kaya nun. Di ba nga, dapat kaya ka nakapag-asawa, yun na pang-asawa mo, kayo yung nagtutulungan at at least man lang uh, nakikinig sa isa't isa. Hindi mo makwento yung mga problema mo sa ibang mga tao, eh dito man lang sa asawa mo. Kaya I pray that husbands and wives will really be partners. They would strengthen each other. 
if ever man lang listen to one another. No, I understand also that sometimes nakakasawa na rin silang pakinggan. Paulit-ulit ang din kasi. Kaya sa mga ganong panahon, namingi ka ng strength sa God. Lord, hindi ko na kaya yung asawa ko. At ano sabi ng Biblia? Nothing is impossible with God. Kaya kung sinasabi natin, nothing is impossible with the Lord, yung may sakit, gagaling. Nothing is impossible with God, those without jobs will have jobs. Nothing is impossible with, with God, yung baon na baon sa utang, mababayaran din niya lahat yan. Amen? Amen. Eh di pagdating din sa asawa mong nakakainis, nothing is impossible with God. Amen. Hindi naman pwede sa ibang mga bagay, eh, applicable yun sa asawa mo, pero dito parang hindi kaya ni Lord to. <laughs> hindi consistent yung faith pag ganon. Kaya if you say that even your problem is your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, or these things, always believe God will help you. Okay lang na amin, hindi mo na kaya eh. In fact, pag hindi mo na kaya, sabihin mo, wag din maglakas-lakasan. Huwag din mag-okay-okay yan. Pag hindi kaya, tanggapin niya, aminin mo yun, lalo ka mag-church. Kaya minsan may nagsabi sa akin, pasun, hindi mo na ako atin sa church, hindi ko kaya. Lalo ka mag-church kasi hindi mo nga kaya. Pag nag-aawitan, nagkakantahan, kalimutan mo yung mga katabi mo, ikaw lang si Lord, umawit ka sa Kanya. I always encourage people, pag hindi na nila kaya, lalo silang umawit sa Panginoon. Eh ano ba yung pagiging emosyonal lang? Hindi. It's, telling God, it's trusting God, it's surrendering to the Lord and telling Him, Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your help. Medyo danger zone na ako. Yung budget po namin, hindi na namin alam pa paano talaga mapag-cash siya. Hindi na po namin alam pa paano ito paghimalain. Pinaikot na po namin lahat ng pwede ipaikot. Pati kami po nagpapaikot-ikot na rin. <laughs> so the more that you trust in God and you tell Him, Lord, I need your help. At ano pangako ng Panginoon? Ano pangako ng Panginoon? I will help you. On another side of this message, and another side concerning this point, magkano kayo ng habag sa mga taong nangangailangan ng tulong? Hindi man natin kaya tulungan ng lahat ng tao, hindi man natin kaya tulungan sa lahat ng kailangan nila, pero wag tayo magiging insensitive. Resist the temptation na tumigas ang puso sa mga taong nangangailangan dahil hindi mo alam kung pagdating ng araw, ikaw naman ang malalagay sa ganong sitwasyon. Na kahit anong pilit mo, kahit anong sabi mo, hindi, hindi, hindi mangyayari sa akin yan. Marami na nagsabi nun. Ganon din ang sitwasyon nila ngayon. Pero ang sarap tulungan ng mga tao na minsan na, nung sila'y okay, nakita mong tumutulong din sila sa iba. Kaya halos hindi na kailangan humingi ng tulong yan eh. Sumasak, lolo na agad ang mga tao sa kanat nagsasabi, ano ba yung need mo? Sige, for the meantime, ito baka makatulong. Huwag mo nang bayaran kasi alam kong ano, kailangan mo yan ngayon. Or that's how it is. Pag meron tayong heart of compassion towards other people, it will not be hard for others. Na pag ikaw naman ang kailangan, tulungan ka din nila. At nagtatanim ka ng kabutihan na pagdating ng araw, aani ka kapatid. Hindi man yung taong tinulungan mo ang tumanaw ng utang na loob, but when you always do it for the glory of God, you help people, you help people, God always sees this, and He will always reward you, He will always bless you. When it's your turn, if you're in your needs, pag meron ka mga needs, ang Lord lagi ang tutulong sa'yo, ang Panginoon. Ang Panginoon. Gusto niya lagi ang kanyang mga anak matulungin. Ang gusto niya ang kanyang mga anak matulungin. And again, I read Isaiah 41.13 na kung meron kayong mga pinagdadaanan ngayon sa kanya-kanyang buhay, realize this, that when you trust in God, God will help you. For I, the Lord, your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, do not fear. It is I who say to you, do not fear. I will help you. That's why. Christians who trust in God, they humble themselves before the Lord. Christians, believers, people who trust in God, humble sila. Hindi sila mapagmataas, hindi sila proud, hindi sila mayabang. They humble themselves before God. 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 to 10. If you will humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, in His good time, He will lift you up. Let Him have all your worries and cares. For he is always thinking about you and watching everything that concerns you. 
Be careful. Watch out for attacks from Satan, your great enemy. He prowls around like a hungry, roaring lion looking for some victim to tear apart. Stand firm when he attacks. Trust the Lord and remember that other Christians all around the world are going through these sufferings too. After you have suffered a little while, our God, who is full of kindness through Christ, will give you his eternal glory. He personally will come and pick you up and set you firmly in place and make you stronger than ever. Mula po dito sa mga verses na ating binasa, pinapakita po sa atin dito that God has a purpose for everything. God has a purpose for everything. Kung dumadaan ka sa pain ngayon, kung dumadaan ka sa hirap ngayon, kung dumadaan ka sa maraming mga problema ngayon, always remember this, God has a purpose for everything. Pwede ba naman sana wala na lang problema sa pera? Eh, meron eh. Hindi ba dapat kayo eh, kagaganda na ng mga trabaho? Kung kailan pa lumaki sahod, dun walang pera, may kinala kayo mga ganyan. Kung kailan lumaki sahod, pero nung araw sa Pilipinas, wala pang 10,000 pesos ang sahod. Ngayon eh, halos 10,000 dirhams na ang sahod, tapos eh, wala pa rin pera. Lagi walang makain. Minsan lampas-lampasan pa, 15, 20,000. Kaya hindi yan sa laki ng sahod eh. Sa tamang pamamaraan ng pamumuhay. At syempre, sa pagpapala ng Panginoon. But people find themselves in a hole. People find themselves in a rut. Bakit nangyayari kung kailan maganda trabaho? Bakit nangyayari kung kailan may edad ka na? May tinuturo ang Panginoon. May tinuturo ang Panginoon. Kaya habang nandiyan ka sa kalagayan na yan, ano dapat ang gawin natin? Humble yourselves before God. Kasi yun na nga yun eh, nahahambol. Hindi ka na ngayon pwede magmalaki, hindi ka na pwede magyabang. Iba lang kasi may credit card lang. Aya, ang gaganda ng mga bag. Kasi nakakaano yan eh, yung ganda ng bag. Wala mo makain. Pagkasama ako, nagtititigang kami kung sino unang bubunot. Pero ang ganda ng bag. Pakisabi sa iyong katabi, ikaw kaya yun? Hindi <laughs> 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 <Di> naman siguro. <laughs> Pero pag alimbawa, bagsak na bagsak ang kalagayan sa buhay, hinahambol ni Lord. Kaya ano dapat ang gawin? Pag nahahambol na ng Lord, edi lalo na maging humble. Pag wala, wala. Pag kailangan magtipid, magtipid. Di ba walang wala na eh? eh kung makabili pa ng mga ganito, mga ganyan, kung makapagtira pa ng pagkain sa hapagkainan, hindi ko makain ng inuulit na ulam. May ganun. <laughs> Pag walang pera, ulitin ang ulam. <laughs> noodles na naman, natural. Buti nga may noodles eh. Oh, pati kayo na maaga sa worship service natin, lagi may pakain bago mag-start. Oh, isama nyo na sa budget nyo yun, no? diba? <laughs> Balita ko yung Rise Up Church bago mag-worship service. Totoo yan. 7.30 time from 6 to 7.30, may nakandang pagkain dyan. Oh, isama mo na muna. So nakakahiya. Alam nila lagi akong late, ba't biglang aaga ko? Ganon talaga. Ganon talaga. Humble yourselves. Hindi po ako makauwi sa Pilipinas kasi nakakaya. Ano nakakaya? Eh, wala kang pera. Hindi yun nakakaya. Ang nakakaya, yung wala kang pera, nagpapanggap ka habang nasa Pinas. Sige, bili kayo. Okay lang. <laughs> isang linggo pa lang. Isang linggo pa lang, isang buwan yung bakasyon. Pagsakay sa eroplano, problema ng problema. Paano kaya mababayaran lahat ng mga naiutang? para lang makapag-piesta, makapag-party habang nagbakasyon. Yabang kasi. Kaila ipakita sa maraming mga tao, successful na. Malay nila lahat ng mga suot mo, mga ano pa yan, consignment. <laughs> pag, -uwi mo sa Pili pag uwi mo sa UAE, singilan na yan. Dapat pag wala, wala. Kung ano meron, pag-cashahin, magtipid. Ang init-init, kailangan ko buksan ng air ko, may pambayad ka ba ng kuryente? O di habang walang pagbayad, eh, magpamaypay. Magbintilador. Hipan niyo ang bawat isa. <laughs> Pag wala, wala. Pag meron, meron. Pag inahambol ni Lord, wag i-resist yung process. 
then be humble. Then ano sabi ng 1 Peter chapter 5, 6 to 10? Again, I read. 1 Peter chapter 5, 6 to 10 says, If you will humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, in His good time, in His good time, He will lift you up. Amen. Amen. In His good time, He will lift you up. So baka ngayon, panahon ng pagtuturo, panahon ng pag-ahambol, pero may perfect timing si Lord, ibubuhos niya ang blessing sa iyong life. Ibubuhos niya ang blessing sa iyong life. Kung nawala ang lahat, baka kasi yung lahat nagpapasama sa iyo. Kung nawala ang maraming bagay, baka hindi nakakatulong sa iyo. Kung nawala ang ganito, ganyan, ganyan, baka dahil doon na hindi ka naman napalapit sa Lord. The praise God na kung nawala yung mga yon, that became the opening for you to trust in God. Get ready. Get ready. Parating na ang maraming biyaya sa iyong buhay. Parating na. Let Him have all your worries and cares for He is always thinking about you and watching everything that concerns you. Minsan feeling mo, hindi ka na iniisip ng asawa mo, hindi ka na iniisip ng magulang mo, kapatid mo, ng mga kung sino-sino mga tao. But si Lord, iniisip niya tayo 24-7. Iniisip ka ng Panginoon palagi. Let Him have all your worries and cares. At ang jablo, kung kailan ka bagsak, kung kailan ka maraming may problema, alam niya vulnerable ka. Huwag ka magpapadeceive sa devil. Huwag ka magpapadeceive sa devil. For the Bible even says in verse 8, Be careful, watch out for attacks from Satan, your great enemy. He prowls around like a hungry, roaring lion looking for some victim to tear apart. Stand firm when he attacks. Trust the Lord and remember that other Christians all around the world are going through these sufferings too. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang ikaw. Marami mga tao may pinagdadaanan din. Ang Diablo naghahanap ng marami may pinagdadaanan upang yun ang kanyang lalong pabagsakin. Don't allow the devil to take advantage of your weakness. Don't allow the devil to take advantage of your vulnerable situation. But always believe that our God is in control. Always believe that our God is powerful. Always believe that our God will help us. And even in this moment of humility, in God's perfect timing, He will lift you up. Mas lalo kang magmamature. Mas lalo kang titibay. Verse 10 says, After you have suffered a little while, our God, who is full of kindness through Christ, will give you His eternal glory. He personally will come and pick you up and set you firmly in place and make you stronger than ever. Kaya isa sa gusto ko masanay tayo na sabihin sa bawat isa, Trust the Lord and rise up. Trust the Lord and rise up. Practice nga natin yan. Trust the Lord and rise up. Sabihin natin sa mga katabi natin. Trust the Lord and rise up. So nagtitiwala sa Panginoon. May pinagdadaanan. Pero papano nakakabangon? Bukod sa nagtutulungan tayo, nagdadalanginan tayo, nag encourage tayo sa isa't isa, ano yung sabi dun sa verse 10? After you have suffered a little while, our God, who is full of kindness through Christ, will give you His eternal glory. His he personally will come. He personally will come and pick you up. Kaya nakakabangon uli kasi si Lord ang siyang magpapabangon sa iyo. Amen. Amen. Ang Lord ang siyang magpapabangon sa iyo. Kaya kung ngayon nakaut na nakaut ka na, bagsak na bagsak ka na, praise the Lord. Kasi ang Panginoon sasaklolo sa iyo. Pupunta sa iyong buhay. Kukunin niya mga kamay at ititindig kang muli. Amen. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Lahat ng minsan nakaranas ng bumagsak, pumalakpak sa Panginoon. Lahat ng minsan nang nabaon sa utang, pumalakpak sa Panginoon. Bagsak na bagsak na ako dahil sa financial problems. Bagsak na bagsak na ako dahil sa maraming problema sa buhay. Ang Panginoon nakikita kalagayan mo. As you trust in Him, God will make you stronger than ever. Darating ang panahon, ako, tatawanan mo na lang yung kwento mo ngayon. Darating ang araw, tatayo ka rito, magte-testify ka. Kasi nalampasan mo na ang maraming pagsubok sa buhay. That's why we must surrender all to Him. We must surrender our all to Him. Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to 30 says, Come to me, all of you who are tired and have heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Accept my teachings and learn from me, because I am gentle and humble in spirit, and you will find rest for your lives. The burden that I ask you to accept is easy. The load I give you to carry is light. You never apologize for inviting people to church. Hindi dahil sa 
Gusto lang namin dumami ang aming attendance o para makonvert ka to our religion. That's never the reason. But the reason why I invite people to church, you come to church, we come, you come to church, you come and worship with us because we want that person that we've invited to find rest in the presence of God, to find rest in the Lord. Na ayun, pag nagkakantahan, makiawit ka with us, nakikinig ka ng message, mame, may prayers, what is all of that for? For us to learn to surrender everything to Him. Eh, araw-araw ko naman sinusurrender, kahit dun sa bahay ko, kahit sa trabaho, umiyak na nga ko. Yes, you may do certain things on your own. But always remember this. Basta merong pagkatawag ang Lord sa iyo na lumapit sa Kanya, huwag mong tatanggihan. Basta merong imbitasyon para sa iyo na lumapit sa Panginoon, huwag mong tatanggihan. You're not going to a religion, you're not going to another activity, you're going to the Lord. And even tonight, many of us may be facing many things in our lives. Surrender to the Lord. Surrender to the Lord. Sabihin mo sa Kanya, Lord, suku na ko, iyo na po lahat, iyo na po lahat. At pag nagsusuko sa Panginoon, overcome your doubts. Whenever you surrender to God, whenever you trust in the Lord, papasok lagi yung sarili-sarili nating talino, sarili-sarili nating mga opinion at biases in life, questions maybe. But sometimes there are people who doubt everything that I've just said. And that's okay. We cannot deny the fact that we do have doubts. We cannot deny the fact that we do have worries and cares. That sometimes, things are not logical. You want a better explanation. You want to truly understand God, how He works, why things are happening in your life. I once had this conversation with another nationality in Qatar. And they were brought to me specifically because this particular guy had so much questions concerning faith. And we ate at this very nice restaurant. And I remember for the next two hours, Tanong lang siya ng tanong. At yung mga kasama niya na naroon, ang expectation talaga nila na pag ako nakausap, lahat ng tanong masasagot. Sobrang nakaka-pressure. <laughs> ang in-order pa naman namin, steak. Hindi ko tuloy makain. <laughs> For the next two hours, nandun yung effort, nandun yung attempt. At sa tingin ko na may nasasagot ko lahat ng kanyang tanong. Pero talagang napaka-stubborn. At uh, napakalalim ng pinaguhugutan ng kanyang mga questions about God, about life, about philosophy. And I would find myself really sweating in the next two hours kasi parang hindi nakaka-penetrate, parang hindi nakaka-go through. And when all was said and done, we prayed. But I did not know, yung katabi naming table, meron ding isang ibang lahi na nakaupo, babae, actually napakagandang babae, akala ko nga Arabiana pa. Nung matapos namin mag-pray, at nung nagpipray ako, uh, it was very uh, soft. Tapos kailangan yung volume mahina kasi English eh. Dahil ibang lahi, I did not want all the other nationalities to hear it. So, in effort niya, nakikinig pala siya pati doon sa prayer. At nung natapos yung aming usa, uh, prayer, she stood up, came to me, and went straight and said, I'm just so sorry, I don't normally sit on this side of the store, so she's always there. So she did not know why she was brought by the attendants to sit at that side. But now she knows why. It was for her to intercede and to pray. Ba? Well, sabi ko, ano pala to? Mano na pala tayo? Bisa natakot ako eh. Akala ko baka ibang lahe, iba, I mean, ibang relihiyon. Pero yung pala, mano na pala taya. And she was praying while I was sweating. <laughs> Tapos ang iksi-iksi lang, sabi niya. Uh, I've been hearing your questions. I just want to tell you, Jesus is real. Uh, nothing is impossible with God. When I accepted Jesus, everything changed for me. By the way, I'm Brazilian, and I believe this is God's way of telling you that all your doubts, you surrender to Him. Goodbye. Ikli lang. Tapos pagkatapos nun, yung ibang lahi, that was God speaking. Grabe to. Dalawang oras ako nahirapan. Hindi ko nakain yung steak ko. Ang kailangan lang pala isang magandang babae ang magsasabi sa kanya. Nung natapos, ando kami sa labas sa dulo, sabi nung ibang lahi, sabi niya, Pastor, we forgot to invite her to church? Aba, iimbitayin pa sa church yung ibang lahi? Nung ako kausap, eh, puro pagdududa sa Diyos. <laughs> Tao, may kanya-kanyang sapak sa buhay yan eh. Kanya-kanya tayo niyan. 
But we must learn to trust in God and overcome our doubts. Trust in God and overcome our doubts. Hindi na bago yan. Hindi na bago yan. Kahit sa Biblia. Panahon ni Jesus. John chapter 20, 24 to 29 says, Although Thomas the twin was one of the twelve disciples, he wasn't with the others when Jesus appeared to them. So they told him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, First, I must see the nail scars in his hands and touch them with my finger. I must put my hand where the spear went into his side. I won't believe unless I do this. A week later, the disciples were together again. This time, Thomas was with them. Jesus came in while the doors were still locked and stood in the middle of the group. He greeted his disciples and said to Thomas, Put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into my side. Stop doubting and have faith. Thomas replied, You are my Lord and my God. Jesus said, Thomas, do you have faith because you have seen me? The people who have faith in me without seeing me are the ones who are really blessed. That happens. Disciple na ni Jesus yun na. Disciple na ni Jesus yun na. Sabi niya, maniniwala lang ako pag nakita ko yung mga buta sa kanya mga kamay at buhay siya kasi napako eh na pierced through his side. So pag nakita daw niya yung mga butas na yun na talagang okay na okay pa rin si Jesus Christ yun ako maniniwala. At uh, dahil alam ng Panginoon yung katulad niya na nagda-doubt yun ang kailangan para maniwala eh nagpakita si Lord sa kanya ng ganon. And eventually naniwala ito. There are two things that we can learn here. One, dahil nga may kanya-kanya tayo ng sapak kanya-kanya tayo ng mga katigasan ng ulo napakabuti pa rin ng Diyos na aabutin niya tayo kahit ano pang sapak meron tayo. May mga kilala kayo, luluwag ng mga turnilyo. May kilala kayo mga ganon. Minsan, ang ganda-ganda, ang gwapo-gwapo, ang ayos-ayos, tapang-tapang, angas-angas. Pero mga turnilyo sa utak ay luluwag. Ang mga pananaw sa pag-iisa buhay, ang pag-iisip, ba't ganon? Why are people like this? Eh, we're unique. There's not one explanation to all of our hang-ups and anxieties. And I always tell our people, don't just judge others by the way you see them now. Hindi natin alam ang buong kwento eh. Hindi natin alam yung buong kwento, ba't siya gano'n, ba't siya mahiyain, ba't siya masungit, ba't siya mayabang, ba't parang ayaw niya nakikimingil, o bakit sobrang talak siya ng talak, o bakit gano'n ang klase ang love life niya, ba't post siya ng post sa Facebook ng bad trip siya ngayon, mga ganyan, at kung ano na pang mga bagay. Hindi eh, natin kilala ang mga tao eh. Ang tao may kanya-kanyang uh, hugot, may kanya-kanyang mga stories. Pero si Lord, alam niya pinaguhugutan mo, Alam niya dahilan. He knows who we are and He will meet you kung saan ka nandun. Kung ano kailangan mo para maniwala ka sa Kanya. For some people, it can be this preaching. That tonight, this preaching would be sufficient for you to surrender your life to Him. For some people, it's a friend who's sharing to you Jesus Christ and somehow this friend is becoming very convincing. Yun yung ginamit ng Lord para mapalapit ka sa Kanya. But others, it could be other means. Pwedeng matanggalan pa ng trabaho, pwedeng magkaproblema silang mag-asawa, pwedeng magkasakit, hindi lang siya, pati mahal niya sa buhay, eh kasi yun yung kinailangan mo eh. Naku, siguro wala yung mga ganun mga bagay, eh hindi ka pa rin magtitiwala sa Lord. O mamili tayo, yung nag-preach, nakinig, may friend nag-share, nakinig, o yung nagkasakit ng maluba. Ito na sa preaching. Ito na tayo sa preaching. Ito tayo sa preaching. Kaya kung nangungusap ang Panginoon sa iyo, Huwag mo nang tanggihan. Kung nangungusap pa Panginoon sa iyo, huwag ka na magduda. But trust in God. Trust in Jesus. Because that's what faith is about. That's what our faith is about. That's what we mean when we say trust in God. It means to trust in Jesus. John chapter 14 verse 1 says, Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. Trust in God. Trust in in Jesus. Tonight, some of us have needs. Tonight, some of us have problems. Some of us have desires. Trust in Jesus. Trust in Jesus. And make this your prayer today. I will trust in you, Jesus. Make this your prayer today. 
Ano man ang iyong needs ngayon sa buhay? Whatever your problems are, whatever you're praying to Jesus for, make this your prayer with me. Let's say it aloud together, please. I will trust in you, Jesus. Can we say it two more times? I will trust in you, Jesus. I will trust in you, Jesus. Means pa po tayo manalangin sa Panginoon. Let's pray, commit to the Lord, study of His Word, these things you've, you've, you've been listening to. It's not an accident, my brother, my sister, you're here tonight, that God enabled you to hear this message. God is reminding you to trust in Him. Na kung meron kang doubts, trust in the Lord. Kung meron kang mga worries, you trust in God. Kung meron kang mga desires, come and believe with us today that nothing is impossible with God. Habang lahat ay nakapikit, habang lahat ay nakayuko, as all heads are bowed down and all eyes are closed, I would like to challenge you tonight to believe that truly nothing is impossible with God. Isipin mo na ngayong gabi, kung ano man yung inihingi mo sa Lord na parang kay hirap ma-attain at ma-receive, come and believe with us that nothing is impossible with God. Sa mga baon sa utang, ipinapanalangin ko ang bawat isa sa inyo, bawat isa sa atin, Darating ang araw, malaya ka na dyan. Burado na lahat ng yan. At nag-uumapaw ang financial blessings in your life. Anybody with financial burdens, come and lift your hands to God. I want us to act in faith, believe in faith, that no financial problem is impossible to be solved. Come and lift those hands to God. I want to pray for people with sicknesses. Nararamdaman mo na parang worried ka na sa iba't ibang parte na yung katawan. Come and lift your hands to God and trust God for healing. Not only for you, but even for your loved ones. Be a channel of God's healing even for your loved ones. Come and lift your hands to God. I want to pray for people na ang pinagpipray nila yung relationship nilang mag-boyfriend, mag-asawa. You're asking God to bless it. Come and lift your hands to God. I want to pray for people who like to have babies of their own. Na matagal na nilang pinagpipray yan. Fruitfulness in their lives. People desiring to serve Him in ministry na yung anointing, yung blessing bumalik sa kanila, joy of the Lord. Come and lift your hands. Father, in Jesus' name, you see the hands of your people raised. Isa-isa, bawat kami naririto, nananampalataya na mahal mo kami, love mo kami. Na lahat ng aming uh, prayer request ngayon, Lord, pakikinggan mo, tutugunin mo, and I pray even, God, for people needing a miracle in their life. Nothing is impossible with you, Jesus. Nothing is impossible with you, Jesus. And even tonight, God, as your people humble themselves before God, we lift our hands to receive by faith in Jesus' name. To receive by faith in Jesus' name. God's answers to our prayer request. Kaya mga kapatid sa Panginoon, lalong-lalo na yung mga nagtaas ng kanilang mga kamay sa God. Come and as you lift your hands to God and say, I receive in Jesus' name. Come and say with your mouth and with your heart, I receive in Jesus' name. Come and say it once again, I receive in Jesus' name. Come and give the Lord a clap offering. Give the Lord a clap offering of praise.